foil harps and windmill stars under 16s met at Allen Park in Antrim for a top of the table clash. In wet and windy conditions, foil harps are wearing the green and windmill wearing the orange. Windmill started the brighter of the sides and their number 10, Mark McSloy, was the first to have a shot. This long ball forward gave the foil harps keeper work to do in blowy conditions and when Oshin Gibson fumbled, windmill striker Nico Likovitz made no mistake inside the box and opened the scoring when he pounced on the loose ball. 1-0 to windmill with 18 minutes gone. Down at the other end of Foil Harp's corner was partially cleared, allowing a shot from distance, but this effort was never going to trouble Mihol Brown in the windmill goal. Foil Harp's finished the half strongly, and this effort from Bobby Bradley tested Mihol Brown into a smart save. With the first half coming to its conclusion, Windmill picked the ball up in midfield but set up a counter-attacking chance for the impressive Mark McSloy who powered forward but Oshin Gibson did well to come off his line and block the shot. Into the second half we go with just a single goal between the sides started it strongly, they won a free kick on the left side, 40 yards from goal and this set piece showed their attacking attempt to get the equaliser. Strong play from Foyle Harps number 5 Kyle McCann forced the windmill defence into some defending with this ball eventually breaking for Shane O'Doherty to try his luck from the edge of the box. At this stage in the match, Foyle Harps were really pushing for the equaliser. However, Windmill won the ball in midfield. A good play from Connor Kavanagh allowed a shooting opportunity for Mark McSloy, who forced the Foyle Harps keeper into making the save. In blustery playing conditions, more like winter, Foyle Harps were getting their shots in on goal. However, this effort from Peter Boyle didn't really trouble Mihol Brown in the Windmill net. This cross from Josh Martin from the left wing was next to threaten the Windmill goal as the match was nearing its conclusion. Windmill stars were looking to hold on to their narrow 1-0 lead. Great play from Foyle Harps number 5 Kyle McCann down the left side led to this deflected effort which forced Brown into yet another save. The Foyle Harps pressure really was building. Windmill were hanging on and were awarded a free kick on the halfway line. Sean Conlon's free kick into the box caused trouble and this fantastic turn and shot from Conal O'Callaghan doubled the Windmill lead and all three points secure. The final chance of the game fell to Foyle Harps from a free kick, however this effort just didn't dip in time. Full time it finished, Foyle Harps nil, Windmill Stars 2. Yeah, boys did really well, uh, it wasn't great conditions for football unfortunately, um, but they stuck at it and, and they've done it all season, they stuck at it and, and Foyle Harps won the best side we've played this year, no doubt about it. And, it was a tough second half, but credit to them, it's all the work they've done through the season. So yeah, it's, it's a great result for us, definitely. Are you just hoping all the work you've done on the training pitch over the months in terms of organisation and, and even character the boys comes through? Look, when you're playing teams near the top of the league in these games, you need your keeper to play well, which Michal did. And to be fair, the back four, all the back four, uh, Finn and Sean, Thomas, 
Adam and, and Aaron when they come on all had really really good games but they need you, you need your boys at the back to play well when you're under a bit of pressure yeah Colin's got a bit of quality to be fair he's a good player really good player I've known him since he's very young and uh, I'm pleased for him because he, he puts a really big shift in there he had to drop in and help out and it's a great finish and he's on a little scoring run at the minute yeah I, th I think a draw in the end would have been a fair result uh, one more very good physical side they're uh, they play the right way to be fair and the coach the right way ball looks saying but we better look I think we could have got the draw wasn't they be and they end up in yeah I thought it was just a matter of time a couple just went past the post and stuff and pretty close to the keeper the keeper's handling was very good and then they, they scored later on they make it to you I was the, the boys are immense they've been brilliant all year Con conditions are not we try and play the right way you see we have a lot of smaller players at this age group and the way they play they, they've been brilliant today to be fair to them I can't knock them just said after the game them but they they were they were immense I can't fault them but they have to can't fault them